so uh, I just bought this. So you can see the title says Everlast Power Core Freestanding Heavy Bag. Uh, so that's what the bag looks like. These are all the components. Everything is out of the box now. Uh, so this is the base that you're looking at. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've done nothing but take stuff out of the out of the box. So it comes ready uh, with some sand and some dirt, some packaging material. Uh, everything else has to be put together. You can see uh, you know, the bag. Uh, you can see the foam housing uh, insert. I'm not sure if stuff's supposed to look like this, but I'm going to put it together and see how it goes. But you can see the condition of the foam. Uh, basically, they stuff everything inside of the bag, and then you take it, I'm sorry, in, inside of the base, and then you take everything outside of the base uh, and put everything together. So I'm going to put this together using the instructions. I'm going to go ahead and uh, vacuum some of that stuff out. I'm not going to use water. I'm actually going to use sand. I got some sand left over from some aquariums. Uh, so you can see the, the weight says if you fill it up with water, 250 pounds. Uh, if you can fill it up all the way to the top sand, approximately 370 pounds. So I do, I used to have a lot of tanks, so I'm going to run it. All right, so I got step one done. Step one is to uh, put the sand in and then put this base ring on. Uh, it took me, you know, all of five minutes, but I did use a ratchet to put the base on. Uh, I, not, I didn't time myself putting the sand in because I assume you know, that's going to be different whether you use water or sand, but I have a mixture of sand and then at the top I have rocks. Just in case I don't like the weight, uh, I can just pull the bag out you know, rocks and make it lighter. And or if I need to make it heavier, then I can add more sand. Alright, so the third part uh, is to screw on this base, uh, and that base will have that yellow bar on mine, it's the yellow ring. And you just hand tighten it. Alright, so uh, next is the white foam. Are you moving to the heavy bag after you get to uh, this part on the tower? Are you going to go to the bag after that? Uh, so you're going to take the center of the white foam, or mine is white, and you're going to push that all the way down into the, it will be the top, but since the bag is on the ground, the bottom of the bag, or the bottom to the ground. And then you're going to have to put uh, the foam ring inside of this bag. Uh, it's the instructions say to put the uh, or to insert the ring uh, in an angle uh, into the bag. So that's the way I did it. Uh, and I can tell you the whole time it was snap sounded like it was going to snap or pop, uh, but it ended up working eventually. So uh, the last part would be to take this uh, the gray ring and sit it on top of this. Uh, so I'm about to do that. Okay, so uh, the gray ring slid right in there, so I should just have to close that, uh, put this on, and then slide this, slide the bag over the top of this uh, part after I screw it on. And so uh, that's all the foam inserted into the bag. Uh, now I'm going to close it up and then insert it to, or place it on top of the base. All right, so now I got the ring on. Uh, so. The last part is to insert the tube into the bag and then I'm going to take it and flip it over and put it onto the base. Alright, so that's the thing set up. Uh, let's see. So, it's on. Took about 30 minutes, uh, you know, outside of, you know, loading the, the base. 